Hey, welcome everyone to our video guide. My name is Ned and in today's video, we're going to learn how to take an external IDP, connect that to our Caspio account. So when the end user logs in, they're gonna be able to see all of your Caspio data pages, including all the data. Now you could accomplish the same thing using Caspio's built-in IDP if you'd like. You can even use our standard authentication method, but we understand that many organizations have external IDPs already, such as Okta, Azure AD, so why not make that login experience for your end user a little bit more streamlined and seamless by not having to store credentials in two separate places? So now, how do we take the user information from our Azure AD account, connect that to our Caspio directories, so that eventually when they log in, they're gonna be able to see the information inside the data pages. So inside Caspio, you're gonna want to set up a directory. I'm gonna call this employees and hit create. Go ahead and open up your directory and navigate over to IDPs. And very simple, just click on this button to add the IDP. You're going to see some information here at the very top. Later in the video, you'll see how we copy that information and paste that information inside Azure. And then Azure is going to give us some information back and paste that down here below, including the identity provider identifier, single sign-on URL, and a certificate that we're going to download from Azure and upload here inside Caspio. The only modification I'm going to make at this point is just give this a name. We're going to call this Azure AD, and then we're going to use our email as the ID field. Leave the screen the way it is. Let's navigate over to Azure AD. And inside your Microsoft account, just go ahead and open up your Active Directory. And in the video, we're going with the assumption that your organization already has a tenant created. If you don't have one created, you can click on Add. But you can see for the purpose of today's video, I have set up this fictitious company called ABC Company. Again, if you don't have a tenant created, you can click on create and then be able to add users to your tenant. We're also going with the assumption that your organization has users underneath that tenant. And to add users, you simply go back to the overview screen, click on users, and then click on the new user to add into that tenant. I've already added two users to my tenant. I have myself listed and also a fictitious user called John Doe. The next thing that we need to do is go back and create an enterprise application. For the interest of time, I've already set up my application, but if you don't have one set up, just click on new application, click on create your own application, and then make sure you have the radio button selected for non-gallery. Give your application a name, and once you give your application a name, you should be able to see it listed on this screen. The next step is you want to move the users from your tenant inside that application. And to do that, just open it. Click on Users and Groups. You can see that I've already moved both users to that application. If you haven't done so already, just click on Add User. Click on None Selected. Select the employees you would like to move to that application. Click on select, and then you're going to click on assign. And then you should be able to see all of your users listed on this screen. Next step is to click on single sign-on. And then you want to click on SAML. So let's click on this box. And now we're going to take the information from Caspio and plug that information inside our Microsoft Azure account. So we're going to hit edit. We're going to add the identifier. Inside this field, let's go back to Caspio. Let's copy the entity ID back into Azure and let's paste that inside the field. Let's also add the reply URL. So back inside Caspio, copy the second link and paste that inside the second field. Once you're done, just go ahead and save. You should be able to see both of those links here on the left hand side. And now we're going to take some information from Azure and plug that back inside Caspio. The first thing that you can do at this point is download the certificate where you see base 64. Just click on the download link. And we're going to upload that certificate in just a moment. But for now, let's go ahead and copy the other information that you see here. So let's take the login URL, copy it. And then inside Caspio, you're going to paste that inside a single sign on URL. Back into Azure. Copy the second link, which is the identifier. And then back inside Caspian, you're going to paste that inside the very first field, and then you can upload the file. Here's the most recent certificate that I downloaded. We're going to just double click on that. We're going to add an enable, and you should be able to see your IDP listed and enabled. 
Now what you want to do is add the users to that IDP. So click on the Users tab, create a user, and we just need to grab the email from Azure because it needs to be the same email that resides in Azure. It also needs to be the same email inside the Caspio directory. So inside your account, if you can't find your employee's information, it's very easy. Just go to ABC Company, click on Users, and from here you can just copy John's email. Now that I've copied it, I can go back to my Caspio account, paste the email here, and I can also now expand and add my optional fields, maybe John Doe for the last name. Now again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you could use Caspio's built-in IDP if you'd like, or if you have an external IDP, and if you connect that IDP like we did today, you can select it. We're gonna hit Create, and we have officially added our very first user. The final step that's left is to now create the authentication, apply that to our data page so that this user can log in and be able to view that sales data. So let's go back to our applications. Let's open up our sales application and navigate over to authentications. Click on create. Select the employee directory that we created at the beginning of the video. We're going to use the custom setup option, select the directory radio button, and you don't really have to do anything else here because the email is going to be used to log into the app. It's already selected for me. The only recommendation I have here, if you scroll down, if you expand the advanced settings, you're going to find this checkbox that reads auto redirect the directory's login screen. Very helpful if you're using the embed deployment method inside the website. If you're using the embed deployment method, then I recommend that you check this box because it's immediately going to bring up the Active Directory so that you can quickly log in and be able to see the data pages. If you're using our direct link deployment method, this checkbox is not going to matter. You're still going to see a login button on your web page. The user has to click on that login button to bring up the directory. I'm going to use the direct link deployment method, so it's not really going to matter for me. So I'm just going to disable that, hit create, and let's call this employee auth for authentication. Let's save our changes. Navigate to our data pages. Click edit. Hit next. Restrict access and just select your employee authentication. Click finish. And now what I need to do is open up a new session. So I'm going to open up an incognito view, but you can also use a different browser. I cannot use the same tab that I have opened up here because it's not going to recognize me as the user because my email is already linked to my Azure account. So if I open up incognito view and I paste the link, you're once again going to see that login button. Click on it. It's going to bring up the directory to log in. And we need to grab John's email. Just go ahead and paste this email, click on continue. And now it's going to ask you for that same email again. Now you're accessing the login screen from Microsoft Azure. So we're going to paste the email once again, hit next. And now you need to input the password. The password actually is stored inside your Azure account. You can also reset the password on behalf of the user if the user doesn't know what their password is. So we're going to enter our password. Hit sign in. And as soon as you sign in, you're going to be able to see that data page along with all the data. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you can see how easy it is to connect an external IDP. In today's video, we used Azure Active Directory. So if your organization is using that as your logging setup, you can connect that to your Caspio directories and quite easily have your external users log in with those credentials inside Caspio's applications. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video.